Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install and set up Plot Squared for Spigot 1.9.2. Alright, to install it, first let's go over to the file manager. Let's go over to plugins. I'm going to recommend having Multiverse Core installed, but it is not needed whatsoever. So let's go over to this URL here to download it. You can find that on the screen here. And then click download now. As soon as you see that it's been downloaded, let's go back over and click on upload file. Let's choose the files. Choose where you downloaded it from. Open and upload from computer. As soon as that's been uploaded, let's go back to my server and restart. As soon as the server's been restarted, let's open up Minecraft and go to multiplayer. And let's open up the server that you've just installed it on. Okay, so as soon as you log in, let's type plot setup. And here we see how to use it, so plot setup, and you're going to have to keep using this during setup, and then the value. Uh, so what generator do we want? Uh, there's only one that we have installed here by default, so we're going to do slash plot setup, plot squared, enter. Now it is asking what type we want. Uh, we can go with default, which is flat, uh, augmented, which will have the world with uh, generated terrain. Or we can do partial, which is vanilla with clusters of plots, which will basically have flat terrain with uh, where the plots are usually, depending on where they're at. Uh, for this, we're going to go with the flat world. So let's do plot setup default. Now the height, uh, depending on where you want the height of the blocks that are flat at, uh, usually we'll just go with default. So plot setup 64, and now it's asking for the width. Uh, again, we'll just go with default here. So plot setup 42. This will be the width of the, each plot. Now the plot blocks. By default, this is stone. So plot setup one. The plot floor block. I believe this is default grass, so in each plot it will be grass, and then under that will be stone all the way down. Plot setup two. Uh, so for the walls around each plot, we're just going to go with default again. We're most likely going to go with default or with each of these, which it shows you the default when setting these up. So plot setup forty-four. So step six. The wall will be changed uh, whenever the plot's claimed by a user. Uh, default here, I believe it is a wooden slab. So let's go plot, plot, setup, 44, 1. Now the road, uh, depending on what you want the width to be, we'll just do default once again. Plot, setup, the width will be 7. And road height. Uh, you're usually going to want this to be the same as what you set the to be so plot setup 64 roadblock plot setup uh, instead of default on this one let's change it to 208 I believe that is uh, the grass path block which is what I'm standing on now uh, wall filling block. I'll just say stone for this. So plot setup one. Wall height. Plot setup 64. And bedrock generation. So whether or not you want uh, bedrock to be put on the bottom. So if you don't want it there, uh, people can usually dig down and they'll go into the void. True is default, so set up true. Now plot setup. Now it is asking what we want it to be called. Let's just call it plot world. And 
here we go. Here's the new plot world. So now we can do, if you do have multiverse installed list, you'll see the plot world and the TP world and the TP plot world. And here's where you can claim those lands. So let's say you want to claim a land on one of these plots. Let's go stand in it real quick. And since we don't have an economy plugin installed, we're just going to do slash plot claim. Once you've claimed the land, the wall will change. And when you leave and go back in, you should get this, owned by Saikitsune, so the person that claimed it. And you should also get a sign over here that shows who owns the plot. Once you've claimed it, you can actually dig and build everything you want in here. And so that's the basics of how to install and set up Plot Squared. Hope you guys enjoyed.